Good morning. I am at 13001 West Laurel Lane in beautiful El Mirage, um, in per specifically in the subdivision of Sun Dial 3. Uh, this community is great in the sense that the HOA is $60 a quarter. So yes, you heard that right. It's $30, $20 a month for HOA. Uh, so HOA just takes care of uh, community, manage, manages the community to keep consistency in the community. You'll notice they've got the extra pad here, which is great. Takes you to the back and there's a full sidewalk. There's a full sidewalk behind this that runs the entire length all the way to the backyard, uh, which we're going to see that in just a minute, but I figured being as I'm out here, I'll go ahead and run you over. So the property line is just past the Spogan, just past the Spogan Via. Um, and I'm just gonna give us a peek over so you can see how the sidewalk runs the full length. Rear grounds is fully landscaped, just like the front is professionally with a drip system and timer. Um, notable that this unit has a brand new train HVAC air conditioning. You won't have to be worrying about that anytime soon. Additional pad has been poured here as well, uh, which is awesome for a walkway because you do legitimately have, you've got a two pad driveway plus this extra pad that was poured here, right up along this side. So it's great for when you're taking out the garbage bins or the trash recycled or the recycle bins. Again, this is your extra pad so that you could actually use these two pads legitimately for two cars and have room to get in and out. Again, your property boundary line kind of sticks out right, let me see if I can point at it, right there. <laughs> so again, you've got this nice walkway that takes you up. Um, I, I do love the elevation of this property. It does have a have a nice nice angles to it, but uh, uh, you'll see all the landscaping is mature. There are drip lines in place. These are the clean outs for the sewer while we're there. <laughs> Let me just pop over. You can see the difference in the rock color, but that's the boundary line is where that that uh, uh, block wall lock is. Okay, so we're gonna go on in now. It's a Hancock community home. Um, this is removable. This is just a, a, a wheelchair ramp, uh, but it's a it's a not uh, a fixed. Uh, the house was recently repainted within the last year, um, so that's been taken care of on the exterior. Now the interior is has recently been vacated. Uh, interior will just need fresh paint, fresh flooring. Uh, there's linoleum and carpet. It is an upgraded carpet, but I would say at this point. Um, it might just be prudent to update and resell it. There's a window here, um, you spin around. So this is the living room, or formal living anyways. Okay, and then as you come through here, going to the right, I love these archways. Such, a, this, is a, this is definitely a signature of Hancock Homes. They were known to use the barreled, barreled ceilings, just to add a little bit of extra flair so you don't have that match bar or, you know, shoebox feeling for your, for your home. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take you to the bedrooms because I went down that hallway. So here is the, the uh, sitting room, living room foyer as we walked in. I'm going to the immediate right. When we go straight, I'm going to take you to the great room and show you the awesome backyard as well. Uh, but uh, here is a storage closet. And again, uh, please excuse me, the house has just recently been vacated. So we are seeing it in all of its grace. Um, Again, linoleum flooring is prevalent throughout. Here's your laundry area. Um, and then access to the garage. Let me just get a light on here. Oh, I'm light. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. So again, water heater. Water heater looks like it's about 11, 12 years old. Um, the, uh, the car is a two-car garage with a little raised pad. Uh, you definitely have a garage door opener installed, and then, of course, your attic access. Okay. So, again, here's our laundry room with the storage area above. Let's get that light. Okay. So, a hallway. We're coming back where we came from. Here's bedroom three. And you'll notice all of the bedrooms, I would say probably 10 by 13, maybe 12 by 15. 
pretty standard size. They all have these rollaways, and this has got a really, this is just a view of the little sidewalk along the side. That's where I, I kind of pop the camera over to the entrance, um, where that's where the gate is, where you could take your recycle bins through. Um, and again, it's kind of nice that that has that, that concrete slab. There's the closet I just showed you earlier. So we're going back down the hallway. Here's bedroom two. Okay, so bedroom two, same, same kind of layout again. This space is that same, the same easterly side of the house. The neat thing about this house is it, all, it is also north-south exposure. So the exposure is perfect for, for, uh, for Arizona, for sure. Same thing with the closets. So we've got our two bedrooms here, bedroom two, bedroom three, garage, extra storage. We're going to go back. This, and then if we, go, if we keep going this way, we're going to see the bed, bathroom two. And then beyond that is the master. So bathroom two. Okay, and then I'm going to come out and turn. Here's the master bedroom. Now, before we go to the master, I'm going to take us back because I did kind of take us backwards. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. We're going to take us back to the entrance, and then from the entrance, I'm going to take you in the great room, and then um, this is the entrance to the front door, uh, security screen door. Again, the exterior has been fully repainted, both body and um, both the uh, uh, body and trim. Um, there's also mountain views to the north and the east at this property. Uh, it's pretty common in Arizona. We have lots of mountains, but uh, it is, is always great to get a view. So here is our great room kitchen. Okay. Um, so kitchen has lots of storage. You've got storage area here. Um, if you wish, the fridge can definitely convey. Here's a, the pantry. I just love this island. It's just, it's a good, good size. And again, you've got storage, storage everywhere. Um, and they thought it out. Again, hand talks notorious for that. They do little details like this. Like you would use a plug-in for sure. It's kind of cool that they put that in there. And there's another plug-in here. Okay, so this is our living room. It's kind of hard to see through the security screen, but I'm going to do a spin here. Okay, so this is the living room area. Again, the, all that the house needs is a fresh coat of paint and a, a, a new flooring. This unit is essentially the original owner. The, origi the owner that owns it now has owned it since it was one year old. So uh, she's had it for 20 years. The rear grounds are great because they put the, they put the money into professional curbing. Um, ficus trees, uh, drip lines, evergreen tree. Um, it's just nice on the sidewalk. I think the sidewalks are pretty huge uh, when, when we're talking about uh, um, landscaping that's functional. Okay, let me do one more spin this way actually so you can see the whole whole bathroom. Okay, so this is the master bath. So the master bath is a, a tub shower combo and it's all one piece. Again, that's a Hancock Homes signature thing is they do the one piece tub shower combos, master closet. And uh, just to be clear, in the guest bath, you've got the same thing. It is a one piece shove tower tub <laughs> bath. <laughs> Say it five times fast. Tub shower combo. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take you out into the rear grounds, my favorite part. Again, it's just hard to believe this HOA is only $60 a quarter. A, a $20 a month HOA fee is unheard of, especially with, with all that you get. So this patio's got generous size. Um, again, they spent the money. This, this was the original pad here. But they extended the pad all the way around and even out there to where the air con the new air conditioning is sitting again extended here. So I'm going to show you just a little side here. We'll do a peek. We'll peek. Okay, and then here's our patio area. So you can see the the paving, the extended extended um, extended patio. They've got the same extended patio over the front. And then here's your yard. Uh, 
All right, and I'm just gonna bring this out so big, and these are nice, big, thick curbing. It's just a, a nice yard in the sense that you don't, you got a uh, Mexican bird of paradise. Um, that would be a, uh, an ash tree of some sort. And then here, we've got a uh, ficus tree. So, really, really pretty yard. Nicely laid out. I'm gonna show you that side yard. The thing that's great about having this patio paved out like this is that if you did have children that wanted to play, this would make it very easy for them to roll their, their little bikes and stuff back and forth. And even all the way up and down here, this would be, uh, when I was a kid, that would have been awesome. Okay, and that is everything. Uh, 13001 West Laurel. Uh, the lot size is approximately 5,580 square foot. And thank you so much for showing and looking.